Should a love of nice racks get a music teacher sacked? An Arizona choir director is on administrative leave after taking 40 high school students to lunch at a Hooters. And the awesomest part of an already awesome story, the professor in question was totally a chick. I think she was a teacher. A little chick as well. I know, right? Anyway, Mary, <laughs> Mary Stigall took her students to a performance in Phoenix last week. And during the field trip, the kids enjoyed the good wings and the great oldies at America's premier booby restaurant. Seagal maintains the memory mecca was the only place that could accommodate a group her size, while the pupils maintain she's the coolest teach this side of Coolsville. We spoke with a dirt bike kid to learn more. <laughs> So much for learning more. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dinesh, did she make a mistake? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she claims it was the only place to go. That was uh, so diplomatic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should she have rethought that? Besides, uh, I, the, the, I don't know about the food. Is it, is it good? It's I mean, good. It's good. Anna and David, the oh, wings are the actually wings amazing. are ridiculous. Just even thinking about the wings makes me want to go to Hoover's Sad right part is she's only a hostess, Greg. Not yet a yeah. waitress. Well, you know, yeah. Haven't made it yet. You know, yeah. you got to start wearing the, pan, the, the tan colored pantyhose with the orange shorts. Without the pantyhose, no one pays attention to you. I yeah. had that on when I walked in here, and somebody at Fox said I couldn't wear it on the show. Can you believe that? The person will be fired. I, I have a theory. I want to throw it out to Cruiser. Cruiser, um, you know, Hooters is also the name for an owl. Owl is the smartest <laughs> animal or bird, uh, represents, you know, intelligence. Maybe the teacher went there as an inspiration so the kids could think smarterly. That dude in Fantastic Four couldn't stretch like that, Greg. That was amazing. <laughs> that was just... First of all, holy crap, Hooters has food? I didn't know that. All right, so you learn something new every day. Um, secondly, I don't care how strong your union is, if you take a high school band full of boys to lunch and return with a whole new woodwind section, somebody's going to notice, okay? <laughs> I have no idea what he means by that, so I'll pretend that that went over my head. Shouldn't have used the word pretend. Ah, oh, God, yeah. I gave myself away. Bill, uh, is Hooters really that bad? I mean, uh, in this day and age, that is probably as wholesome as you're going to get. The only type of clientele that should be at a Hooters are people under the age of 18. <laughs> Anyone over 18 is so shameful and sad <laughs> that they will not go to a strip bar and sacrifice all of that by going into this little restaurant. <laughs> they should be ashamed of themselves. Never go to Hooters, America. But before you boycott it, enjoy their steak fritters. They are oh, amazing. I, I have to counter that and say everybody go to Hooters. It's a lovely place. I like having this little debate. They wear pantyhose. No. They don't even show this, their legs. This is something that can't, that should be coming back. Pantyhose with with, with gym shorts should come back. Daisy Duke. It's, all, it's very comfortable. It, it starts on red eye All right, we, in the world. we got to move Present. on. Thank you, Stephen Cruiser. Always a pleasure having you on the show. Talk to you soon.